2016-216. Offered by Mr. Roy of Texas. Pursuant to House Resolution 723, the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Roy, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Texas for five minutes. I thank the chair. Uh, the amendment that we have in front of us prohibits funding from the act to be used to terminate the migrant protection protocols. This is one of the most important things that we need to address. H.R. 2, which this body, led by Republicans, passed in the spring, addresses the need to return to use of migrant protection protocols to put in place the return to Mexico uh, and remain in Mexico policies of the previous administration, which, when combined with uh, the use of Title 42 authority, was effective in limiting the flow coming across our border. Um, and when the current administration completely abandoned on day one the use of migrant protection protocols, uh, the reality is we've seen the resulting chaos uh, at our border. Uh, it is hard for anybody who is objectively looking at the state of our border to find any defense for the current policies of the administration allowing the abject failure to occur. This amendment would assert our Article I authority to say to the president that the president must uh, not use funds to terminate the migrant protection protocols. That is, we should not be funding the failure of this administration to do its job. Very simply put, as we put forward in H.R. 2, the choices before us should be to detain, to put an expedited removal, or to put into a migrant protection protocol type system remaining in Mexico. Otherwise, you have what we have, which is an utter disregard for the border using parole authority wrongly instead of case-by-case -case basis, mass releases under parole. We have the use of asylum, uh, not for a uh, persecution, but rather as a blanket uh, release into the United States to the point of two million releases over the last two and a half years under this administration. This is a very simple uh, policy that we could adopt as a Congress to restrain the abuse of this administration. I reserve. For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Cuellar, seek recognition? Uh, Madam Chair, I claim time in opposition. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. I do not believe in catch and release, and I certainly uh, want to give our uh, men and women everything they need to have, and that's why it's important that we address this issue. The, your amendment, um, uh, it deals with a uh, program called Remain in Mexico. The only problem is we can't stop the funds on that program because it got terminated in February 2021. Again, uh, we had an opportunity to vote on this FY22, uh, but again, we did not bring this up at that time, uh, except for two members. Everybody voted no on this, uh, on the Republican side. And again, it's a little bit too late for this. Now, uh, I would say to my good friend from Texas, I do support the MPP. I do support it. Uh, but, but again, uh, this program is gone. And I think we need to have a little bit of discussion if, if we're going to be looking at ways to stop uh, folks from coming in. Again, I would remind my folks what happened in 2015, what happened in 2019 under President Trump, under President Obama. That is, we worked with Mexico not to keep them there, but actually for them to secure their southern border with Guatemala. We need to do that again. And if we're able to do that, I think we should be able to do that uh, to address that issue. Again, I do support MPP, but again, this amendment uh, is trying to get uh, stop funding for something that doesn't exist. And for that reason, I will uh, ask my colleagues to vote no, and I yield back the balance of my time. Uh, yields. The gentleman uh, from Texas, Mr. Roy, is recognized for the remainder of his time. The termination of this program uh, resulted in a uh, decrease by 64 percent for illegal alien apprehensions between the ports of entry or found inadmissible at ports of entry. Uh, border encounters uh, with Central American families, the main driver of the crisis uh, for the better part of the first two years, 
comprise a majority of the MPP amenable aliens dropped by 80 percent. A report found MPP to be a, quote, indispensable tool in addressing the ongoing crisis at the southern border and restoring integrity to the immigration system. The purpose of the amendment is to ensure that we're not continuing to fund the ending of the kinds of programs that could be successful. That's the point. We're putting in restrictions on the extent to which this administration can ignore the tools that it should be using. With that, I yield back. The, the gentleman yields. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Texas. Those in favor say aye. Those in favor say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to. It is now in order to consider amendment number 77, printed in part B of the House Report 118 through 216. For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Roy?